What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Randy here with RTS Mobile, bringing you a fantastic video today. I am here representing the Pandemic Corporation and the Silent Alliance, and we are giving you your uh, monthly PI update here. So, if you're wondering which planetary material is going to be the most valuable at this point in time, uh, I have some news for you. I've done that homework, and now you're going to get to check it out. While I uh, walk you through the spreadsheet, and I'm going to pull it up in about two seconds, you're going to watch me here in the test server as I play around with this Sisters of Eve Nestor build. <clears throat> uh, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, be fighting this uh, T9 Inquisitor here that I'm currently in. So while I kill the T9 Inquisitor on basically AFK, uh, I'll be walking you through um, through the PI. So let's go ahead and turn that chart on in three, two, one. <gasps> there it is. Okay, look at that. I'm like a, I'm like a, I'm like a ninja, like a ninja. Okay, please give me the like and sub. Um, help my YouTube algorithms be happy. They want to live. They want to be happy. I'll go ahead and target this scorpion first over here. Just uh, let's go max DPS on this. Look at this DPS I'm gonna have. Oh, 24, 28. Not too bad. All right. Let's go ahead and turn some reps on because you never know what's going to happen when I'm all tabbed here. Okay. Um, oh, the da the scorpion is getting melted, dude. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> it's getting melted. Oh, that's nice. Okay. All right. Let's get back to the PI. I'm just enjoying the pew-pew there. Hopefully, you are as well. Okay. Uh, so... The uh, PI chart's broken up into two ways, okay? I'm checking out hourly profit off of risk, uh, I mean, uh, rich resources and hourly profit off of perfect resources. Um, now, as you all know, all planets vary in the PI production that they, that they give per factory. This is a rough analysis uh, of a lot of, um, a lot of planets, uh, and I kind of took uh, sort of high to mid-range uh, pretty close to perfect planets for both the rich and the perfect uh, factories, okay? So, this column, column I, is for rich. Column J is for perfect. And then this column K gives you the difference between rich and perfect. So if you're wondering, oh my god, oh, I thought my Nestor died, but it was, <laughs> it, was the, it was the scorpion. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. All right, <laughs> back to the video. Holy cow. Here we go. Okay, so. Uh, let's just go ahead and sort this um, from largest to smallest, and I'll just go through the list. The number one most valuable planetary material today on January 24th, 2021 is going to be silicate glass. With skills of 555, with uh, 14 factories on one resource, one planet, you are going to get approximately 252,688.80 worth of ISK per hour. Okay, that again, that's 252k isk per hour with 555 giving you 14 factories on that resource. Okay, the next highest, uh, not even a close second, but the next highest here is industrial fibers, which is going to give you a total of 236,000 isk per hour. Um, I'll just walk you through the rich stats because they're here. So the silicate glass, right, 252 perfect, 231 rich. That's a total of uh, 20,000 isk per hour uh, more if you can run off a perfect. It's not really game breaking. You could probably run off a off a rich if you need, um, and it's a little bit less. You know, whatever eight eight or nine percent less. The industrial fibers, on the other hand, the increase uh, from rich to perfect is pretty substantial, 66,000. So that's almost a quarter, almost a quarter of the value. Uh, switching from rich to perfect. So this one on the industrial, you are going to want the rich. Okay. And man, this Nestor is just obliterating everything here. This is this is crazy. I'm not even, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Okay. Uh, the third highest planetary material today is 206,000 is per hour from the coolant. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> very nice. Next one is smart fab uh, units. This is another one where the increase from rich to perfect is pretty substantial. For the smart fab units, uh, we have rich of 160k and uh, perfect uh, perfect resources at 199k isk per hour. The difference between the two is about 40k. 
The number uh, five is Noble Gas with 162,000 ISK per hour. And you know what? I'm going to jump all the way down to Plasmoids here, which is, what is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 40, 50, 14. Plasmoids is the 14th out of 34. So it's uh, right there, a little bit above the middle. A little bit above, little, 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 little bit above the middle. Uh, so if you think that Plasmoids, which a lot of people do, uh, if you think Plasmoids is the best money maker out there, uh, it may be one of the most used uh, resources uh, for combat in Nullsec, but it is not the most valuable. It is rank 14, and it's barely half of what silica glass is worth. So if you can find silica glass or industrial fibers, that's where you want to go. And let's go through the three worst. Okay, let's check out the three worst. We have heavy water, suspended plasma, and liquid ozone. Heavy water at 33K, uh, suspended plasma at 38K, and liquid ozone at 52K. Fun fact, uh, I actually thought... Toxic Metals was pretty good because it's pretty good price per each, right? Toxic Metals is a decent price. Uh, when I was trying to make my own Phantasm and Ashimu, I couldn't find Toxic Metals anywhere. It was the hardest resource to find. So because of that, I automatically assumed it was the best. Well, I was wrong. Toxic Metals is rank four for worst hourly profit off of P, uh, planetary material. So if you did not know that, you know now Toxic Metals, while needed for all the faction cruisers out there, uh, apparently is not worth much to, to farm. And it, it gets generated really slowly, by the way. Uh, 157 per hour is in some of the, uh, the lowest number of, uh, of, uh, resource production per hour. Let's actually take a look at that, by the way. You might like this. Um, in case you're wondering what the smallest production per hour is on a perfect would be plasmoids at 42.7. The next highest is oxygen isotopes with uh, 24, uh, uh, sorry, 94.64. So again, this is a low income item here. And then here you have toxic metals with 157. And the reason why this is red is because toxic metals and precious alloy both do not uh, have a perfect planet known uh, in game at this time. So the highest known planets for precious alloy as well as toxic metals uh, are all rich. Fun fact. I don't know if it's true or not, but it's a fun fact for you. Let me check out my... Looks like I'm in a fight here again. Did I lock everybody? I did lock everybody. My weapons are off. All right. It looks like... We'll see how many, this Nestor holds up fighting this next wave, this final wave of this T9 Inquis, because it looks like I'm getting beat up right here. Looks like I'm definitely getting beat up a little bit of Papa DC. Did I have my reps on? I have my reps on. Okay. Back to the PI. So, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. And then the highest, uh, let's just go through average market rates, the highest price per each. That Plasmoids does take the king, uh, does take the cake with 3,000 uh, average market rate per Plasmoid, with the industrial fibers coming up second at 1,200. Uh, since they are produced much faster than the Plasmoids, that's why industrial fibers have such a much higher value per hour. So, to summarize it, if you want to make money uh, on planetary, you need to be in these top four, which is silicate glass, industrial fibers, coolant, and smart fab units. Because if you are not in these uh, these items here, a lot of them are used for Sov, uh, Citadel uh, production. If you are not farming these, any of these, you are undercutting yourself extremely significantly because the difference from, uh, from the 254... Divided by that, that, uh, the difference between the first one and the fourth one is 27%. So if you're farming noble gas instead of silica glass, you're missing out on 27% uh, income. So don't miss out. Don't let friends miss out. My Nestor is definitely going to die before <laughs> it defeats this wave. <laughs> I will make you watch my Nestor die. I'm um, just uh, apparently four group armor reps are <laughs> are not enough to make it through this wave. Okay, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned, next month I'll do another analysis. Uh, love you guys, long time. Randy, out.